Ah, I suppose that's the extent of what you'll give me. Does this mean I'm free? Foltest, King of Temeria, has been murdered. Unfortunately for you, you're the only suspect. The murderer outsmarted you, so I'm to rot in this dungeon. Oh, no danger of you rotting. You'll hang. Convince them otherwise. I have no influence over the court. What if someone vouched for me? You have a witness. I was thinking of Triss. Was she not your lover? Who knows? But it's common knowledge she is. What happened to her? Well, she's fine. She's been invited to the next meeting of the Council of Regents. Voltes told me a lot about you. If not for him, I'd be a drunk or a vagrant. Voltes did more for me than my father ever did. But then my father did exactly nothing, for I never even met him. In any case, I'll not rest until the murderer is punished. Tell me how you serve, Vernon. I carry out orders others are incapable of executing. What's the situation in Temeria? The Council of Regents has convened to restore order. That means three things. Utter chaos will prevail, Visima will run dry of wine and strong drink, and the local whores will make a killing. Is Triss participating in the meetings? Indeed. Only to find out that she's no longer needed. How do you know? It's my business to know. They want to run a kingdom without a sorceress? They already have a kingdom without a king. They'll use every opportunity to get rid of her. Who will rule? The chief contenders are Count Maravel and Baron Kimbold, who already tussle for control of Lavalette Castle. What about Foltest's bastards? The king's blood runs in their veins. So yes, they are entitled to the throne. Not some drooling nobles. For fuck's sake, you command the Blue Stripes. Do something. The real murderer is free, and he's further and further away with every hour you spend prancing around in here. I find the Killer Monk story unconvincing. I don't claim he was a monk. He was wearing a frock, though. He sailed off in a boat with some Scoia'tael. Would you recognize him? No problem. A mountain of meat. Never seen anyone bigger. What would you do if you escaped? I'd go after the Kingslayer. You know where to look for him? Some Scoia'tael helped him escape. That's where I'd start. I expect you might know this particular group of elves. How'd you work that out? They wore blue-striped masks. Trophies, I expect. Yorveth's commando. I know where to find them. We've a trail to follow after all. If you want to start over and take it easy this time, get me some food. Now that you mention it. Vess! Bring us food and drink. <laughs> Shame you didn't think of that earlier. It's your own fault, Geralt. Your fate is in your hands. Thank you. Never heard of women serving in the Special Forces. This is one of my best people. How'd she wind up in the Blue Stripes? I pulled her from the paws of the Scoia'tael. Just 16 when they torched her village and slaughtered everyone. The unit commander took a liking and spared her. One last thing. This file is about one Geralt of Rivia. And Foltest's death? Actually, Geralt's death. The report details events from five years ago.
Rivia. Population 1,234. In that, 253 non-humans. September the 25th, 1268. A riot erupts. A massacre ensues. The streets run with the blood of elves and dwarves. One person finds the courage to face the raging crowd. During the rioting, 76 non-humans perish, including the witcher Geralt of Rivia. Stabbed in the chest with a pitchfork by a man of whom we know only that his name was Rob, and he owed three crowns at the local tavern. Yennefer of Engerberg dies trying to heal the witcher. The bodies of Geralt and the sorceress are taken away by a mysterious young girl with ashen hair. Their place of internment remains unknown. I remember. Rivia. Yennefer. What just happened? I saw... I saw my own death. And the rest? Have you regained all your memory? That's all. I just remember the end. Vess! Interrogation's done. Restrain the prisoner. I'll take the key. I sail up river at dawn. Guards will collect you in five minutes. Eat. You'll need your strength. His back is fucked up. Not yesterday. He was a hero, pretty much. Everyone's man. Personally saw him cut down 20 men in the blink of an eye, so it's no surprise. Hmm. See him dashing along those walls? Can't rightly say I ever saw his sword the blade move so fast. I thought that beast would tear him to bits when it came out of the clouds. Delayed don't mean denied. Hangman will do that tomorrow. <laughs> Say we, um, teach we gotta provoke the guards. I'll not touch this scum. I get scurvy. Guard, come here, good man. Why are you hollering? Do that again, and we'll shut you up. You wouldn't say that if these bars weren't here. Is that so? Let's see. Some pretty weak shit talking. <laughs> Rip your guts out. Oh fuck. That didn't work out too well. There. I didn't realize this game was going to feature quick time events. Bam! Where's the other guy? I just sworn there was another guy. Okay, can't open that door. Alright. Wait, 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 wait. I saw something. Uh, Cat Moon Rune, Worn Leather Gauntlets, and Small Blackjack. Alright, we gotta put the stuff on, I'm guessing. Okay, so the Blackjack is a weapon I can use. Leather Gauntlets, uh, Crafty Component, Rune Sword Upgrade. I could do that if I wanted, I suppose, but I think I'll hold off on that for now, at least. What kind of we- hold on a sec, I'm curious, what kind of, uh... 
damage does this do? Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, come on. All right, it's five to ten. All right, not not great, but it is what it is. It's a weapon. Look at look at how shiny my torn up back is. Isn't that something? Okay. Damn torches! I can't sneak out in this light. Well then, no, not God damn it. <gasps> what was that? Nothing. There. Now... Okay, I guess I can't... I thought that I was able to, like... Uh, take out the light or something like that, but I guess I was wrong. No, I can. Never mind. Just making a whole bunch of false assumptions. Elves sneaking through a dark birch wood. Who are you? Whispering to this devil's brood. Okay. Cool. No, nope. damn it. Leave me be. Let me alone, please. Don't hurt me. All right, so I can take cover. That's cool. I'm fucking hungry. Shit. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Can't seem to uh really see the guy out there. Oh, god damn it. That's fucking annoying. There. Oh, shit. Did not see that guy. That's right, burn, bitch. Right. Need a key for that. Right. Fucking these guys up, man. Whoa, shit. We got another. <laughs> He's got just like appear out of nowhere. Hey, you look distinct. No? Okay, never mind. I was gonna say she looks kind of distinguished, but I have two children. I'll do anything you will me to. Will ya? Can I talk to you? Okay. Alright, never mind. Sorry. I mean, I would free you if the game would allow it, but it doesn't seem to want to do so. Yeah. Sorry. Bummer. Okay, that's locked, so we're gonna go back real quick. Because I think that the door down there will now open. Yes, it will. Oh, there's a cellar? Badass, man. Oh, was this like a secret passageway? Oh, alright. Interesting. So maybe like I had multiple different ways I was able to get out of there or something. Or maybe that's what I was supposed to do. Like, I fucking know. Thanks for the money. I, I don't understand why I'm going so slow, though. Honestly. If I took my... Yeah, see... You would not dare! I'm just following orders, m'lady. Who issued them? What's more important, 
That is what they require of me. Mm. And what's that? One little signature confirming the full test did not sire your little bastard. I shall sign whatever you wish. Of course you will, milady. All succumb sooner or later. Please, not the iron. There's no need for the iron. I'll do what you wish. There's a right time for everything. Now's the time for the hot iron. I beg you. Then we'll take some wedges to your nails and finish off with spoons to the eyes. <laughs> Only then, spent. All right. Your I'm assuming I can save her somehow. Shall you sign what the scribe has prepared and have no desire to retract your confession? Ah. Uh. Can't wait for it, eh, you harlot. I guess I can't Don't yet. I don't now. understand. Just warming up my poke. I what the fuck? Okay, am I able to leave this area or what? Oh, okay, I didn't see that before. Cuz I'm stupid. Hey, fuck face. Oh great, I missed. Oh shit. I didn't realize the scribe was going to do something. Now you're dead. Oh, there you are. Fuck. Hey, come on now. Come on. Shit. Bring it. Fuck. God damn it. Of course. <laughs> that's... Nah, that's annoying. Okay, that's really... Okay, so he rotates. That's fucking stupid. Like, that really aggravates me. Like, he was rotating while I was attacking him. Maybe. If you do stuff. Alright, I, Louisa La Valette, do solemnly swear that my children, uh, Anai, or Anais, and Busi are the offspring of my eldest son, Arian, who did sire them through incestuous union with me. Oh, so she fucked her son. Wait. Like, is that not true? And, like, they just made her say that? I'm not really sure. I am at your mercy, Witcher. What now? Cover yourself, my lady. In better times, the king spoke to me of you. You must look me in the eyes when you answer. Did you slay Faltest? No. Hmm. I suppose I must believe you. You should be glad. I'd have to gouge out those devil's eyes otherwise. I am glad, my lady. I like my eyes. Where are my children? Forgive me, but I just escaped my cell. and can't count myself among the well-informed. Then you are at my mercy. I know this dungeon better than anyone. Your chances of escaping are nil without my help. Slim with it. I'll gladly take Slim. In that case, let us go. Along the way, you can tell me how my son, Arian Lavalette, died. He was being a dick. Oh. 
Okay. They never miss. They're the elite of the Nilfgaardian army. You're kidding, right? There are only two of them. Holding two of the best crossbows in the world. What do you want, Excellency? To aid you, my lady. Or rather, to present a proposal. The Lavalets have never made and will never make a pact with Nilfgaard. Pantare, Baroness. There are no constants in this world. It is time to adapt to the new order, particularly now that Arian and the King are no more. You and the royal children require protection. Where are they? In the upper castle. They are safe, unhurt thus far. I can guarantee their further safety and yours, provided you can agree to Imperial protection. Stomach, as it were, Nilf guardians in your presence. Naturally, I expect nothing in return. You contradict yourself, Ambassador. Your ruse is not lost on me. But so be it. Now take me to my children. I hadn't planned on going to the upper castle. And rightly so. Many there tremble with anticipation for tomorrow's execution. I must resolve a few administrative matters to deliver the Baroness from this oppression. And I will occupy, for ample time, I think, the guards at the main dungeon gate in the process. My lady, I leave you in the hands of this honorable knight. Witcher, count twenty heartbeats and follow me. Why would you aid a Kingslayer, Excellency? I aid a Witcher who may find the real regicide. I'm a principled man who abhors all acts of violence. In addition to which, the Empire I represent needs a stable north. But we digress. Twenty heartbeats, then follow. My lady, your son Arian gave me no choice. I know. Stubborn to the last as the Lava Lets have always been. I trust he did not suffer. I doubt he even sensed the final blow coming. There's that at least. You have spoken your peace, Witcher. Go. I find it hard to believe that she's so calm about the fact that I killed her son. That, yeah, that's just not believable. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. But, okay. Yeah, I guess you're cool with it. Anyway. Let's uh, pick up some of this last little bit we got here. I think that's all the... What? No, there's... Yeah, I think that's actually all the material left. Alright, see ya, dude. Um, the wings look stupid, but otherwise, you look solid. Okay, so he said 20 heartbeats. I don't know if I actually have to count that many, but I'm not going to. Yo. Bastard. Whoa. You fucking prick! Fuck you, cocksucker! Fuck you up the arse! Language! Motherfucker! I'm gonna fucking kill you, hear me? I'll rip you prick off and beat your head in with it! Right, foul mouth. Excuse me. Wait, 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 wait. There was a thing. There it is. Perfect. You, follow me. Yes, sir. Hmm. That's locked. Kill all these lights just in case. Are they coming back? Yeah, it looks like they're coming back. Oh shit, they're definitely coming back. Oh, this is turning bad. Ow, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. God damn it. All 
All right, so apparently my attacks are just nullified whenever there's multiple people fighting me. It's just like my sword went right through them and didn't do a goddamn thing. Like, it's a minor complaint, but it's just like little things like that are really annoying. Wait, which one? There we go. Alright, I can't stand to take very much more damage, so... Watch out. So heavy hits tend to stun enemies, which is a useful bit of knowledge. Alright, so killed all those guys. I'm assuming that I was supposed to figure out a way to get out of here before they came back, but, you know, whatever. Ooh, what do we have here? Worn leather gauntlets. I think I already have those, but thanks for more of them. What's up, man? I'm... What do you want? Alright. I guess... I mean, that's not where the waypoint is, but... Whatever. Anyway, doesn't matter. Who gives a shit? Halt! Blimey, is that you, Witcher? They say you killed the king. Well, I didn't. And I'm going to prove it. I'm inclined to believe you. Glad to hear that. It'd be pretty stupid if I had to kill you now. Did all the Reavers survive the assault? Aye. They've been drinking themselves silly for two days now. I believe I owe you something. You don't owe me a thing. We wound up in a boiling cauldron during the assault. You know how it is when knights get caught in a tight passage. Nowhere to go. Those in the back push forward. Those in the front are stuck. And halberd blows raining down from above. I'd have been crushed if not for my armor. And about ten blows landed on my helmet. My ears still ring and I puke time and again. But I live and breathe. Concussion. It'll pass. Were you on patrol with the Reavers when they ran into those Squiatel? Aye. Kenneth mentioned the unit was especially vicious. Notice anything out of the ordinary? A unit emblem or something? Right you are. They had masks made of the cloth of Special Forces uniforms. And they hollered a lot. Yorvert or some such. Hmm. Where did the dragon come from? I've no idea. But it saved our asses. The elves ceased shooting at the sight of it. Can't tell you anymore, as we fled right then as if the devil himself was on our tail. Take this. Kenneth told me to study up, but I've not the mind for it. Just not cut out to be a dragon hunter, I guess. It could be useful to you, though. I need to go. There are sentries on the dike. No way you'll slip through. Can you distract them? Um, I'll try. But remember, count me out if there's a fight. In fact, we could end up foes. I hope not. Go. Just give me a minute. Alright, then. So I need to sneak aboard the riverboat. Uh, quick question. How do I sneak? Because I don't want to kill that guy. He seems like not an asshole. I don't want to kill someone who's not an asshole. Oh, wait. More things. There we are. Even more things? No. Okay, so obviously I gotta go that way, but there might be something over here of relevance. Just more supplies, it, it looks like. Ah, eh, fuck it. All right, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go around too much. I'm gonna make this decently quick, at least. Geralt, over here. You? Who are you? Wait, is that a? Uh... Oh, that's uh, shit. What was her name? I can't remember her name. 
you were to sneak out, avoid anything resembling a bloodbath. You left me the key to my manacles, not an invisibility cloak. Triss, is everything all right? Not exactly. I'm no longer the royal advisor. I've lost my post, my home in the Zima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. Triss, you put yourself out there. I ran into a hangman torturing Louisa Lavalette, trying to force her to confess to incestuous relations with her son. Voltest's children were to be Aryans. Sons of bitches. The hangman has hanged his last. But Shillard has the Baroness and her children. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Marivo rule Temeria now, or strive to. But no one save old Natalis can restore true order. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown's simply out of his reach. Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand. Politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is, then. Triss. Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm-hmm. Let's go below deck. And I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. I want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me, even the things that might hurt. Prepare to cast off. Clear the lines and all aboard. Lines clear, Captain. War is a good time to forge friendships, alliances. Harry and Lavalette, busy building walls and forging swords, forgot that. When he was gone, those he loved were forced to forge friendships with those he hated. Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labeled a regicide. That goes triple for someone like Geralt. Could his luck get any worse? I've known the Witcher for a long time, and I'm sure that kings, courts, and politics concern him about as much as last year's snow. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. No, I'm not making any excuses. And yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, as water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and his toxic relationship with a sorceress named Yennefer. Stories of a life stolen from him. Am I boring you? Don't set this tale aside. Give me just a few minutes more, for someone special is about to appear in dire straits upon a scaffold. Cheers.